two different things when the plan becomes e-plan. So one of the things we work on uh, strongly is, of course, trying to be efficient um, when we build panels. So we often look at it in different ways. Uh, this is an interesting way where we talk about all the design phase and the manufacturing phase. I'm going to focus on this particular phase here, the terminal strips and the assembly. So starting with uh, one is the e-plan. In e-plan, when I actually start working in this section here, before I actually get to the panel, I have to talk about the schematics themselves. So inside the schematics, we usually place terminals. Each of these terminals gets a part number assigned to it. Now, typically a part number, we pick that part number from the data photo, so all the data comes with it. So far, so it's easy. When it's a two-level terminal, it's a bit more complicated because you have to handle like the level one and the level two, and you have to use them for different purposes because what your intention is to really reduce the size of the terminal. So at the end of the day, the idea is, of course, when you look at a panel itself, like let's say here, we look at it from the front view, you basically have regular terminals. Uh, let's just move it into a more 3D view like this. You can see we have regular terminals here and we have two level terminals here and down here. These terminal strips, one regular, the other one here, a little bit more complex is a two level terminal, of course, have to be dealt separately. And sometimes very small details can be overlooked. Like when you look technically at this uh, strip here, look at it and it looks perfectly clean. There's a small isolating plate eventually missing here, right, that I forgot. So let's see if I have a tool here that may actually help me to correct these. We have, on, in partnership with Phoenix Contact, we have something called Project Complete. If you download here the Project Complete marking and planning, you get basically the installation of the Project Complete marking for the markers, okay, on one side, but also to complete to analyze if this is correct. Technically, once it's installed, you should see these small icons appear, and I'm gonna run it here. This is the project complete interface. I'm gonna use the ePlan Electric P8 interface, so we're talking about terminal strips, not just rails. And what I have here that is very important is to retain the parts that I have picked earlier, because inside ePlan, I took the time to assign a few part numbers, as you can already see, because I placed it here on the 3D, but I still want to check if I made some mistakes, because it's easy to place, right? I can just reposition it. Here is the project complete in its newest view, or newest version, and you can see something. It will, after it analyzes it, it actually tells me that I should, between these two components, put a small isolating plate here, okay? On the TB24, it also marks it up here. There's an isolating plate that gets added, and you can see the jumpers. So technically, if I wanted to, I could actually pump it back into ePlan if I wanted to, or I could also pump over right away here to the marking, because all the marking that you have done inside ePlan, so one, two, three, and one, and two, and three, are actually markers that are transferred onto the other side. So technically, if I do uh, check it out, I can jump right away into the marking section. And for each terminal strip, so here I have TB24, here I have TB1, I get the proper markers that can be uh, printed and I don't have to do anything. You can see that the markers are actually selective to actually pinpoint the right style or the white right type of markers. Sometimes the marker by default is a little bit too, let's say, too, too, too big. You can always reduce it to see if that actually makes it a little bit better. If I make it 1.9, you can see it actually fits. You can use the control key and mark up a few of those because, I mean, for some reason, I made them a little bit bigger. I can reduce them and it's still readable. So it's all nice and dandy and I can just print this is a project complete. I could have also printed other labels uh, inside ePlan. Okay, we of course have the possibility to print other labels like, uh, I don't know, the device labels, the wires, because remember, this all comes with some wires that you can see here. And every single wire, I'll just show you, has a wire designation. 
all those can also be printed. So if I actually pick one randomly like this, you can see this wire label can be printed. And the way you actually do this is just use this second icon here and you can then select which one you want. You want the wires, the cables, the devices, and since they are all mapped out, I can just print and they will transfer the data right away into, again, project complete marking so that you don't have to do this on, on your side. So it's already done. Uh, technically, if I go back here to my marking, you will most likely see here a new project opening. You can see it actually live and it goes pretty fast. Uh, here are my labels. So I chose to put the wire label, the source and target. And of course I have it printed twice because I want two labels for both ends on my uh, wire, as you can see. So I have a, a bunch of labels here that are printed. So these are the wires I have in that panel. Then I have cables and here I have a few devices in that panel. This corresponds exactly again to all the labels that you could see on this panel or panel layout that you see here, this global uh, panel. So I have some devices on the front, I have some devices on the back. And finally, over the labels, I could even go as far as um, ordering, let's say, some NC drilling directly here over the Retail Perforex. They would actually give me all the holes or the pre drilled um, while they, they uh, send me the, uh, the, the panel. Um, in the same idea, here the project complete has a small order section here too, where you can partner up with your Phoenix contact supplier and they would actually send you this terminal strip entirely as it is. So this is why when we look at the labels, you can actually see each terminal strip individually and you can also see the labels individually because again, if we go back to our fabrication mode, this has all and requires all different steps along the way. Steps that here along the way, I also uh, generated in my project. So this was just how we can efficiently build your panel using ePlan, Phoenix Contact, and Retail all together. So make use of it. Start using all three of those together.